So we're going to take a look here at text join. In the previous video, I looked at text split, and we're now going to look at text join. And then in the next video, text before and text after. So we're going to join this text together, which previously was done with something called concatenation. And there was a function for it, or you could have done it kind of like as a formula. But now they've got a kind of new version of this, which also does have some extra features. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a reference out of the location, the item and the date. I'm going to show you what happens if one of them is blank. It's going to put hyphens in between. Works the same whether you're using Windows or a Mac. I'm on Windows here and the insert function just looks a little different on the Mac. So let's click on insert function here. And I'm going to go into my text functions and you could just go down to here and find text join or you could have just searched for it at the top here click on go and click ok so there are three things that i want to put in the delimiter is what you're putting between each bit of text and we're going to put a hyphen in there so let's put that in what are we going to do if it's empty? Well, if it's true, if we put in true here, which is the default, so we don't have to put anything in if it's a default, it ignores the empty cells. OK, so that is going to join them together otherwise. So we're going to put in false here because we're not going to get it to ignore the empty cell. And I'm going to then show you what it looks like without. And the text, well, so there's a couple of ways we can do this. One, I can click on the text here and then I can click on the next one and I can click on the next one. Or let's just get rid of these. If they're next to each other like this, you can highlight it as a range. You could still then use another range and so on or cells. So let's just click on OK. And that has now connected it together. Now I did mention about the blank cells, empty cells. Let's see what happens if I delete it. And you can see what it's done is it's put two hyphens next to each other because there's nothing in the middle. Let's change that. Let's fix it. Let's go into my insert function again. Let's change that to true, of which I could leave this blank. Click on OK. And you'll see now it doesn't have the two hyphens there. So let's put back whatever I had in here and that fixes it. Let's just copy that down. I'm going to use the right mouse and I can choose fill without formatting so it doesn't mess that up down at the bottom. So that is how you can join text together and put in a delimiter. Here. That delimiter, let's just edit that here, could have been something just like a space. And then you can just copy that down again. Let's just right click drag that down, fill without formatting. I'm now going to show you about the text before and the text after using what I've got here. And that's in the next video. As I mentioned, you've got text splits, which is in the one before. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.